On this video, I'm going to explain why you should consider creating your own market and your own marketing. But if you're new here, hello, my name is Ruslan. I'm a hip hop artist, creative entrepreneur, and this channel exists to encourage, empower, and inspire creative entrepreneurs to go deeper with their art and to go further in their creative entrepreneurial passion. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. I think as I look out at the landscape of different artists and different people that I cross paths with, sometimes what some of us do is we wait for someone to come along and quote unquote put us on, or we're trying to conform to a specific market, we're trying to conform to a specific guideline, a specific pre-designed audience for us. And so we start making music that's kind of tailor-made, we start aspiring for collaborations in that specific market, we start aspiring for the blogs and the websites in that specific market to cover us. And though that's traditionally been the way that many artists build their audience and build their career, that isn't necessary for today's era. You don't necessarily need anyone's cosigns, you don't need any blogs to cover you, and you don't need features with specific artists. Now, do those all help? Yeah, absolutely. But sometimes you might be in this weird spot where you don't quite fit into any market or any demographic. And for me, this is very personal. I'm a hip hop artist, but I'm also a believer in Jesus Christ. I love making hip hop music. I come from the battle rap scene. My last job before I was full time being an artist was I was on staff at a church. And so I've always lived in this weird tension where I'm not fully embraced by the hip hop audience because my music is clean, it's not vulgar, and I talk about things like faith and God and social issues, while at the same time the Christian market doesn't quite understand what to do with me, right? And so I've had to intentionally carve out for myself a new market that is kind of a hybrid that combines all these different elements and also figure out a way to market myself to my market. and. It's a much slower burn. I'll be completely honest with you guys. It's gonna take longer, it's gonna require more effort, more time, more resources, but it's gonna allow you to ultimately be in control and ultimately build something that isn't gonna fade if a specific blog shuts down or if a specific artist decides to switch up what they're doing and you're affiliated with that artist and you've built your entire brand kind of alongside of what that artist has already built. I would encourage you guys, those of you guys that are struggling, you're trying to figure out how do I grow my music? How do I grow my audience? Don't be so consumed with getting your music on a specific platform, with getting a specific cosign, with getting a specific look. Do what you want to do, design what you want to design, create what you want to create, and find people that are similar to you and like what you make. And you'd be surprised how many people there are already out there like you and find that demographic, create that market maybe for yourself. Again, we had to create something that was kind of this hodgepodge in between these two different worlds, hip hop fans and Christians, and it was a weird combination. But I knew early on that I wasn't gonna fit into any world and I'm so glad because I'd probably be very miserable if I was in the CCM market and all my shows were at churches and all my audience was Christians, right? And I probably wouldn't be very happy touring nightclubs and around a bunch of people that are always drunk and high. I probably wouldn't work well in that world either and so I've had to create something for myself and I'd encourage everybody to do the same. It's much more work, it's way harder, but ultimately, I feel like ultimately you can find something if you're a unique, different artist, you could find a group of people, you could find an audience that's gonna help you take your music and your brand and what you do and tell their friends about it and share it with other people and that's ultimately what you want. We talked about this a couple videos ago where I talked about creating a thousand super fans. Sometimes the more niche down you can go and create your own niche, the more successful you can be and the more depth you can build with those people. So in the comment section below, if you could describe what it is that you do, what is your niche, what is your market, how would you describe that? How would you word that? How would you phrase that? Whether you're a designer, an artist, a cinematographer, Leave that in the comment section below. Once again, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to hit the like button, share it, and subscribe. Peace.